Hi everyone, so I just wanted to share a quick thought, real quick, <laughs> and sorry, excuse my, um, okay, so please excuse my appearance, um, I wasn't even planning on filming a video today, I haven't washed my hair in a while, today's like, tonight I'm going to be washing my hair, uh, but that's like besides the point, This I just wanted to film this video because while these thoughts in my head are fresh, and like I'm just thinking about this right now so this video is all about how children are gifts and we should treat them as such in society nowadays and just what our culture tells us is that children are burdensome and that they aren't worth our time but that is so far from the truth and that is just another lie from Satan that he has spread and told society and told young women and perhaps even in the church, but I know that to be true like in secular secular minds and stuff. So what I'm getting at here is that society has taught us that children aren't worth our time, that they are burdensome, that when you are in your 20s, you should be living your life, going on vacations, partying, doing whatever, whatever it is you want to do and fulfilling your own wants and desires. But I kind of think that children, when, not to say you should have them young, but when you do have them young, it does teach you, just from my, this is me saying this from my own personal experience, that if I didn't have my children so young, I probably would not want to be a homemaker. I probably wouldn't even be living for Christ, to be honest. I know that my children have sanctified me and helped me with my walk with the Lord so much it's like insane and I'm just like so grateful for them and yes they are even though they are such blessings and a beautiful gift from God they are hard work and all that just like how marriage is very sanctifying um, children are you are constantly right when you wake up in the morning you aren't taking care of your own needs you're taking care of a small child's needs what am I getting at here I have no notes so I hope this video isn't too like scattered and I'm still in my pajamas and I have a scrunchie on my wrist and I have laundry drying in the back so that is how unplanned this video is I know that probably a lot of you guys do this but I'm just saying this as a friendly reminder and just kind of like what I feel it just like breaks my heart how people look at children how like they are burdens how they just want to send them off to school because they're just like done with summertime being over and their children annoying them and they want their children out of their faces. Well I know like not every mom is like that and I know not everyone wants to homeschool but it's just it's sad how people just want to send off their kids and they look at their kids like they are annoying and children are such a gift from God and should be treated as such and not treated as their burdens. Like imagine if you were a young child and your parents just constantly looked at you like you were such a burden. Like, wouldn't that just wreck the heart of that child? Sorry, this is something that I'm very, or not sorry, like I can't be sorry for this because this is just something that I'm so incredibly passionate about and uh, it just uh, breaks my heart. Oh, uh, Jameson. It's almost his nap time. And I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that's Caleb playing the piano in the garage. <laughs> and another topic is just something that kind of gives into more of the whole entire ideology that children are burdens is abortion and how how easily accepted abortion is nowadays like I know that in the church it's definitely not but just in society how abortion is no big deal and it's just a clump of cells but coming from my standpoint with being pregnant at 16 that it just like if I didn't get the help from my parents I would have made it work and I would have, me and Kayla, we would have made it work. I just know we would with God's help. And I just, breaks my heart how children are just looked at as such burdens. And I know that if you are a Christian mom, that some days mothering is hard, especially day to day being a stay at home mom and just being with little children and get, taking care of them and just the mundane, like root, mundane routines can get frustrating and challenging but just look to Jesus and pray ask him to renew your walk 
with him. Renew your motherhood. Um, just renew mothering and make it fresh and joyful and all of that to give it purpose, you know, because there is purpose in it because these children that are in our care are little souls, you know, and we have to cultivate these souls and uphold these souls and give all the glory to the Lord and how you train your children and how you raise them and all that. And, and I just think the most important thing is giving glory to the Lord. So whatever you do, do it unto the glory of God. What else? I feel like this is a very ran rambly video. And my face is looking a little white with the lighting. So yeah, I think that is all my thoughts for this video. Excuse the known makeup face, the greasy hair, the piano playing in the back, the clothes hanged up, you know, the pajamas. But this is like real life, so. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope that this video has encouraged you. And remember to keep glorifying Jesus and praying and reading your Bibles. And um, I want to continue to do more motherhood and Christian faith videos. I feel like I haven't been doing them that much, but I'm still I'm going to be doing them here and there throughout my channel and uh, like uploading schedule and stuff. So thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoy content like this, then don't forget to subscribe. And I try to upload every Monday and Friday. So yeah, so thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.